Wow. Hi guys, uh, this what you see is the armature of a three phase brushless motor BLDC motor okay and today I'm going to convert it into a single phase AC generator so this is the copper wire that I'm going to use for the rewinding process and its size as you can see is 0.57 mm okay so the first step is to take one end of the wire and place it in one of the holes okay done like this and after that take any of the pole for starting the winding process and like i'm going to take this one okay so giving it one turn and second and i'm going to fill it and also count the number of turns that i'm giving to figure out uh, the maximum number of turns that can be given to one pole for maximum voltage generation so guys i have given it 25 turns on this pole and seems like that this one is full and i have to shift to the second pole the one next to it okay okay so doing that 25 turns on each pole that's what i want to say now guys initially we were going in the clockwise direction okay but after completing two poles you have to go counterclockwise for the next two poles okay one turn two turns three turns and same 25 number of turns per pole two clockwise two anti-clockwise two clockwise then again two anti-clockwise this way we have to fill up the armature completely with copper coil so guys after completing 25 turns on the third pole you have to start it the same way you started this one the anti-clockwise as i said before one one turn second turn and third turn 25 so guys after completing the fourth pole again you have to go in clockwise and 25 turns one two three and so on now guys after you have completed the winding per pole you will be getting only two wires out of the complete armature and to these two wires extension cables will be connected which i'm going to use these two black ones and the output is going to be single phase ac so what we have to do is solder these two wires uh, to this and this terminal and uh, place it back in this field magnet case and the bearing holder okay this is the magnetic field okay you see there is one bearing here and the other one is on this side so we have to place it like this the back is all rusty but still it works smooth you see although you see that the uh, this bearing is coming out i will have to place it properly so for that i'm going to use this 11 mm yeah now it is perfect and smooth i think i will have to open these two so placing the shrink tube to prevent any possible short circuit and if you want to buy it i have this whole pack of it if you want to buy it link will be provided in the description you can check it out okay now simply move it like this and we have these two final wires coming out from it and also one of the slots from which we can take this wire out and this one also nice well guys it's time to do the multimeter testing so the good thing is that we have only two wires coming out of the armature let's see okay you see around 4 volts I am doing here, 
5.6 volts 5.8 so yeah almost 6 volts from the hand rotation single phase AC here you can see that I have pointed the meter to the frequency measurement mode Hertz let's see what's the frequency that I'm getting here and obviously it is not going to be constant because of the change in speed see 50 Hertz 43 and then 12 55 yeah 59 the more the rpm more is the frequency but yes we can manage it by like fixing the speed of rotation of this motor single phase generator it's time to do forced rotation test to see how much power it can generate Oh, so 6 volts is the max I could generate this way. Well guys, I also have this 2600 RPM drill machine. Let's see if this one works better. Okay. Yeah, we are getting around 15 volts here. Here what I have is a 12 volts, 55 watts car headlamp bulb. So I'm going to use this one. Well guys, the bulb has been successfully connected over here. And now I'm going to tighten up the chuck. Okay, go. You see how beautifully it is glowing the bulb. Turning off the camera lights. Now let's see. Pretty cool, right? And guys, this is a 12 volts to 220 volts transformer, 230 volts. Okay, so I'm going to use this to step up the single phase AC output voltage from this generator to 220 volts so that I can also run 220 volts appliances. So simple enough. The blue terminals are the sorry, these are the high current, uh, high voltage windings. So I will have to connect it this way. Okay, done. So guys, I've pointed the meter towards AC voltage measurement mode. Let's see how much voltage I can generate with this way. Okay, go. Wow, it was almost 270 volts AC. Also guys, this what you see is a 220 volts incandescent bulb. Okay, so I'm going to try this one with this. Okay, so let's see if it can glow this one. Wow! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Let's turn off the lights. Wow!